All this the some of us got it and some of us don't you know when it when it come to the ladies and the the approach and who the ladies want to approach them and who they don't want approaching them you know what I'm saying that could mean the difference between you Getting called to the office for sexual harassment, and you can in these days and times you could have just said good morning to her, but but if you not the one she want saying good morning to her, then you, you might have problems in the future because she not the one you want speaking to her in the morning. Unfortunately, like I say, some of us got it and some of us don't. And when I say got it, I mean that natural animal attraction to it. Whereas when they see you, they just automatically turned on. See, every woman ain't or every man don't automatically turn a woman on. And every vice versa. Some men do it for women and some women do it for men. And then some of us got to leave with our wallets. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to get into no specifics, but you know. It go down like that sometime where you don't have that natural animal attraction. And then, you know, you, so let's say I'm going to use an example. Let's say you're a top supervisor at the job. And it's, it's a brother who worked beneath you. you know, he ain't in no supervisor position, but he got that ability, though, when he step on seeing the ladies just, you know, get nice and moisture occurs, all right? Moisture occurs when this brother steps on the scene. And see, you you not that brother that get him moist. You know, so therefore, you have to lead with your wallet. You know what I'm saying? And, and the fact that you the supervisor, that's what may get some of the female species to, you know, go down on that road with you because they know they're going to benefit financially from you. You know, whereas this other brother just get her naturally moist. He's her choice because when she see him, waterfalls come falling down. If you know what I mean. I'm going to try to keep this as clean as possible. But the ladies know what I mean. If you that brother and you got that gift that when you step on the scene, you know, they just go gush, gush, gush. You know, you, you can't help it because you was born with that ability to make them go gush, 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 you know, and they just attracted to you. So, see, that that could mean the difference between, you know, if you were to, which I don't suggest, you know, at work, you be making any sexually advances to these female species today because that could lead you down to the, you know, personnel office getting reprimanded you know to, to leave miss johnson alone don't be you know staring at miss johnson too hard she's offended you know you looked her up and down with your you sexually undressed her with your eyes you know and all that stuff that be going on today but that that's because see he not the one she wanted to undress her with with you know his eyeballs that's all that's about. But let the one that get her nice and moist come and undress her with his eyeballs. Or let it be the supervisor who she know make a lot of money. You know, and she know he gonna get her that Birkin bag. You know, that, that'll be a difference right there. So, you know, this has just been a big e brief. You know, want to get that out there and let it be known that that's part of the game. It ain't about the approach and approaching them sexually. It's about who they want to approach them. They want the one that turned them on, that's getting them turned on to approach them. That's what they want. They don't want, you know, just your average JoJo stepping to them, you know, when he, he don't do nothing for her, you know. From that standpoint, he's not turning her on in the least bit. You know, ladies want the men that's turning them on to step to them. And then they probably be wondering sometimes, you know, hey, I really, you know, he getting me hot and bothered. And I really want to, you know, 
sock it to him like what Beyonce say in the video. He can get it. They know who they want to. They want to give it to. All right. And sometimes it just ain't you who they want to give it to. They know who they want to give it to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ladies know who they want to give it to. And sometimes it just ain't you that they want to give it to. So some of y'all brothers out there, y'all just got to roll with it. But like the big e Raw TV would suggest, you know, don't be making no sexual advances at work, man. You need your job, man. <laughs> don't be putting your job on the line for no peace leave. Shout out to Coach Greg Adams, peace leave. That's what he called it, the peace leave. You know, don't, don't be letting peace leave, you know, take your job from you, fellas. So this has been another big e War TV, you know, just trying to hip you brothers to the game, you know, to keep your job, man, and don't, you know, your job ain't worth, you know, no peace leave. It just ain't worth it, man. You know, there's better things out here than, you know, risking your job for a couple of moments of pleasure. It ain't worth it, you know, because in the past I've had opportunities with, you know, female supervisors that I, you know, was making it obvious that they was feeling a brother. I'm going to give y'all a situation one time. So, I yeah, think back in 2010, I come back to work, you know, and I always... First day back to work, try to keep a fresh cut, you know, come in there, you know, it's a fresh new start, fresh new day, Big E coming with a fresh new cut. So yeah, you know, she, I'm being professional, you know, I see when I come around the corner, I see her eyes get nice, nice and big, like, ooh, who this, you know, nice looking young man right here. So I tell her, I said, uh, let me take you to the back where we keep our supplies. And as soon as I turn my back and taking her that way, I hear her say, yeah, take me to your bedroom. Then one of my coworkers, he was like, what? Take him to the bedroom? Said, can I go next? You know? And then all during the season, she would throw little hints like one time, you know, this when a young lady accused me of taking a picture of her. So I was kind of depressed on this day. So I like to go walk along, along the shoreline and clear my mind. And she asked me, she said, uh, are you sure you don't want me to ride you down there? And I'm like, nah, you know, I'm going to walk along the shoreline. I want to clear my mind. And she's like, oh, because I ride it good. Now, y'all get the point. I ride it good. I heard it, but I ignored it. You know, then I had another one of my supervisors. I happened to be coming from the gym. It's 2014. The gym right over there near... Wendy's on Empire and Flatbush. And she made a comment to me like, mm, you look good. And I knew what that meant. But, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking you my supervisor. And when things go left, you know, you, you can make things out here real difficult for a brother. You know, like you might see me talking to another female species. It could be innocent. And now you start getting in your feelings because, you know, once the big E puts it down on you, you know, ain't no telling what's going to happen. You know, you get, you might get hypnotized. And then now I got to worry about, you know, you doing things like trying to give me extra work. You know, might want to make me go do some dirty work, you know, because you in your feelings and, you know, and that is other female species out here that might be feeling a brother, you know, and it could be innocent conversation because, you know, you got female.